Hey guys, so today I'm going to do another haul for you. I went to Walgreens, Dillard's, and I recently went to Bath and Body Works, and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So first up, Walgreens. It's just a couple of things. I picked up one of the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes, one of my all-time favorite makeup remover things, and I actually got a set of two. The first one when I opened, let me show you. The first time I opened this box, I saw that basically it's just the same thing as the blue package without this extra like box thing. But the box thing is actually pretty good if you want to store anything else in it. However, the first time I wanted to keep it inside of the container and the first time I opened the box, like I pushed it back down and it sliced my finger. I don't think y'all realize how sharp or I don't know this is just some intense plastic it just like tore up my finger my fingers was bleeding it was just really bad so from now on I don't think I'm going to use these containers I'm going to just take out this little package and recycle or either give this to somebody who can use it for something else like I really liked the idea of these plastic containers if y'all know how to make this like not as sharp or I don't know I guess I was just super clumsy or something but don't like the packaging but we'll continue to repurchase the flimsy packaging ones then I also picked up I saw a new display for the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Intenza mascara now I originally tried the butterfly mascara and this one has a double a double winged brush I don't know if you can see that let me take it out of the packaging so the first um, voluminous butterfly mascara, it just had the wings on one side and I love doing it on my right eye but then like it was kind of a pain to like twist and do it the other way. So I really wanted to try this out. I got it in the waterproof, waterproof Blackest Black 381. I don't really want to open this exactly yet but I'll show you the brush. So the brush has double wings like I said so it'll be easy to do one eye and then switch and do the other instead of having to just figure that out so that's really nice I will I'm planning on doing like a first impression or a review on this coming up next week so check out my channel for that and then the next thing I got from Walgreens they had a Halloween sinful colors collection little display thing so I picked up this color which is called mystery moonshine it's just a bunch of gold purple green glitters and I love simple colors nail polishes I probably have about like, a little over 10 this one seems to be just a very clear I don't know if you guys can see that a clear nail polish with the glitter so what I plan on doing is like either get some black nail polish or I have some black nail polish get some black nail polish or orange or one of these colors and then just paint it over my nails I think this is perfect for Halloween I'm going to hopefully paint my nails with this today and I'll let y'all know maybe I'll post the Instagram picture of it for y'all and then the last random kind of thing I wanted to try these Dentex complete clean floss picks. I know this is like super random, but I wanted to use something other than the floss and you twist around your finger and get in there. So this just seemed a lot easier and it has shed proof floss, flexible bristled pick, tongue cleaner, and plaque removal scaler. So I'm going to try these out and I'll let you guys know how I think, feel about them. So then I went to Dillard's. I wanted to get a couple of boots to wear with skinny jeans and leggings. I have one pair like I showed y'all in my fall essentials video. That's the black suede heel boots and then the brown suede heel boots. I wanted something other than suede, something that I could wear in the rain and then not totally get destroyed. And also brown colors. So the first ones I picked up they are by Steve Madden. They, I wanted to get non-heel boots. 
So these boots have just a little bit of a heel, not too much. They have scrunches and they're really cute tan boots. These, let's see, I have the box right here. They're called the Castro Cognac LEA. I don't know if you guys want to zoom in on that. But that's what these are. These are about $99 at Dillard's. Super cute. Want to totally wear these with skinny jeans. Super excited. The next boot I got is a little bit more of a medium classic kind of boot style. These are from the brand Born. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're from Born. They have really cute button detailings, but there's no button on it. They have the zipper on the inside, and it's a small instep. As opposed to the Steve Maddens, these right here that I got, this is a wooden bottom. So these, after a while, the sales associate was saying that like they can hurt your feet, or you can just feel the heel. However, these, they have a rubber bottom to it. So it's comfier on your feet. And I definitely like these. Let's see what these are called. These are B42216 in the color Sage Tan. They're Soro, Soro FG. Let's see if y'all can see that. So that's the box. And they're again from Born. So definitely am excited to wear these two boots with skinny jeans and leggings. Oh my gosh, so excited. So then just now, I recently came back from Bath and Body Works. I'm just running out of hand soaps and my wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I put in two of the leaf scents in my bathroom, no, in my bedroom over here and then in my hallway. So I wanted to pick up some hand soaps and wallflowers. So they had a lot of the, I'm not very big on the pumpkin wallflowers and hand soaps like that. I feel like we're getting kind of, I know fall just came here, but I feel like we're getting more into winter and it's okay. I guess it's because the winter scents are out, but I picked up a lot of the winter scents. So I first wanted, because this, the leaves wallflowers lasted about a month, I would say. So, I picked up replacement bulbs of the leaves. So I have that just to, I'm gonna replace my current leaves. And then, since it'll be going more into November, December coming up, I wanted to pick out their Tis the Season. Tis the Season wallflowers and these, let's see if it has a scent. Celebrate the perfect winter holiday with the timeless scent of bright red apples cinnamon cloves and deep green pine notes enjoy its festive fragrant medley inspired by the rich natural beauty of winter so definitely i'm excited i smelled the candle of this and i loved it i just didn't want to buy any winter candles right now because i'm waiting for the two for 22 so picked up tis the season i did the six i think for 24 it was and then i also picked up sparkling icicles so in smelling the candles for winter collection that my Bath & Body Works had out right now, definitely I'm going to pick up a vanilla snowflake candle, sparkling icicles, winter, and tis the season. Those are must-haves. Everything else from that collection I think I might pass on. Like they have fresh balsam or something like that again, but I feel like that comes out often and I'm not that big on that fragrance, but these two scents right here to the season sparkling icicles and vanilla snowflake I am definitely gonna purchase so those are my wallflowers put these up and then for hand soaps I did the they had like seven for let's see what it was seven for 24 hand soaps and this is like a limited time only sale so I'm gonna post this video today and hopefully you guys can either pick up some hand soaps with this discount today or tomorrow. I also used a 20% off coupon with it. So they came out to about $2.74.75 for the seven hand soaps, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then the wallflowers was just the same, the six for 24 
dollars, but with my 20% off coupon, they were three twenty each. So definitely, if you guys are interested in hand soaps and wallflowers, but definitely in the hand soaps, I would go and go to your Bath and Body Works today or order online. So the first scent I got in hand soap, this is the only deep cleansing hand soap I have is the Sweet Clementine. I picked this one up last time I bought hand soaps for the fall season and this is just amazing kitchen scent. I love it. I'm finishing up one of them but I just want a backup of it. So I got that. Then my ultimate favorite for the winter, November, December, just a very clean scent. I got this last year as well. And like I said, I got a lot of the winter scents. But I picked up three, right here, of the Fresh Sparkling Snow, like foaming hand soap. And this packaging is so pretty. It has like lifted glitter sparkles all on it. It's just super gorgeous. I know it's not winter time. We just got into fall, but love the packaging of this. And the scent, let's see and I don't think it says it oh it's on the side it is freshly fallen snow sparkling and sunlight basically it is a very clean but crisp scent definitely check this out when I go to Bath and Body Works and I'm trying to find my hand soaps I always you have to be careful though I always twist the cap and smell the inside. I don't like wash my hands like they have a section where you can actually wash your hands with these. I don't do that. I just smell it and definitely love this one. And then I picked out a winter cranberry and this one is frosted cranberry sprinkled with iced peach. And this again has really gorgeous packaging. It has like snow covered berries and then like snowflakes all on the side love it let me see if i can so this one is a nice cranberry scent but the cranberry is not too overpowering it has that nice subtle crisp just like clean scent to it that i like so much with the winter hand soaps it's like the fall i smelled the fall ones and like the pumpkin cupcake pumpkin pecan waffle, pumpkin, whatever else they have, but it's, I don't want that bakery strong note on my hand. I want something with fruity, clean, to make it just smell good. Then I picked up a winter citrus wreath. Love the packaging. And this is winter citrus with accents of fresh balsam. Balsam, how do you guys say it? Let me know. Fresh Christmas tree, let's just say that. And this, you can definitely smell the Christmas tree, but you get that subtle like clementine kind of smell. I wanted to just get one of these to test this out. I purchased in my last haul the that apple scent, the red packaging apple scent. Anyway, I like put it on my husband's sink bathroom side, and he was like, I don't like it. Switch it out with something else. So I've been using it. It is very, very strong at the apple scent. Um, that's why I only have like two of the hand soaps left that I purchased. So I wanted to purchase like an in-betweener. In-betweener. So um, I don't smell the apple so strong. And I can have something other than that. Because I'm not a big fan of it myself either. So I'll let you know more about that hand soap. Like in an empty video coming up. But and then my last hand soap I picked up, I'm just counting which ones, how many I got, was um, Iced Blackberries, which is a nice purple kind of packaging. That's what I love about these hand soaps. You get blue, orange, red, and then this purple one. So the purple one is Heirloom Blackberries Sparkling with White Ginger. And this one probably is Blackberry scent. Oh, got some in my nose. Okay, so it's a nice blackberry scent with like that hint of crisp air, if that makes sense. Like when you're walking and it's just like the spark, it's almost like they put sparkling snow 
and put it on top of blackberries, on top of citrus, on top of cranberries, and whatever other scents they have. But that's why I like all these so much because you get that fruity scent, but you get that sparkling snow kind of scent on top of it. And then I also had a coupon for a free travel size signature products, and everyone has been raving about this on YouTube, the pumpkin latte and marshmallow. So I wanted to just pick up a body lotion of it. I really wanted to do a, um, a, what are they called? Shower gel, shower gel of it since I love like testing scents out that way instead of lotions. But um, they only had like the fragrance spray and the lotion and I wanted to use this up. So the scent, I don't, I think that is just the scent. But let's see. It just smells like, I don't know. It smells like a sweet, I don't know. Well, I don't know what it smells like actually. I guess it smells like a pumpkin latte and marshmallows. But for me, I smell the marshmallow a little bit. It's a little bit not as sweet as vanilla, the pumpkin vanilla marshmallow candle. So I think it's probably the latte and pumpkin I'm smelling in this. Let me actually put some on and see if I can smell it better that way. It's not that noticeable of a scent. Like it's not super strong. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. So if y'all haven't already, check this out at Bath and Body Works. I don't, I don't think it's like something amazing to rave over on YouTube, but I picked it up. Definitely will use it. And that is all I have for you guys today. So if you want any reviews on anything or or have any questions for me, let me know down below. Also, I'd love to know what you guys recently picked up from Bath & Body Works or Dillers or anything for the fall that you think I should look into. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.